Hi guys, thanks for tuning into my channel. I thought I would make a quick video here. I just did some grocery shopping and have a second. So, hi. Um, I think I have come to realize that my passion definitely lies with, um, you know, this channel and specifically being geared towards, <clears throat> geared towards men that are looking for, um, how to understand women better and also understand connection with women and also to maybe find a woman. Um, and this specifically, this video is about finding a woman and, um, you know, you may be struggling with things like, um, you know, you may have a porn addiction, you may have a, um, a fear of, um, being in public or you just may be lacking a little confidence and, in all honesty, you know, we've all been there, even women, especially women. Um, if you are of the younger um, grouping of men, um, let's say under 24, this is especially hard um, for men to attract women under the age of 24. And I know that sounds a little weird, um, but women tend to go for older men. And on average, it is about a four-year difference between women and men. Um, when they are seeking someone to be with, I'm not sure exactly why this is, but I can kind of guess, um, one, they're a little bit older, so they are, have a little bit more experience. Um, experience also can give, um, someone confidence and, um, usually, you know, let's say I'm 20 and the person is 24. Um, they've probably graduated college. They probably have a career going on. Um, they have they show that they can take care of themselves. So it's attractive to women. Women are vulnerable. They are vulnerable people. And not all women would agree with this, but that's just a, that's a biological fact. We are not as strong as men. Sorry, feminists, but we're not. <laughs> so on, on that note, um, women want strong men that are confident, that know how to take care of themselves. And it's, it's really, you know, I think some men that are under 24 are coming into their own, you know, they're, whether they've got their own place, uh, they're learning how to take care of themselves on their own, or they're in college, they're experiencing all these different things. Um, but basically, you know, um, beyond 24, you know, you should, in my opinion, should, should have some established um, confidence in yourself because you have grown up, you know, and you have the ability to live on your own. And that's attractive. Women find it attractive when a man can take care of himself. Okay. So that even means hygiene. That means hygiene. Okay. So showering, um, smelling good and, and, this is going to sound so silly because it goes back to childhood. Um, but being able to have a clean room is essential because what, what room you are living in is an absolute manifestation of what is in your mind, the organization that's in your mind. And it's true. Okay. I was a very messy person and, um, because I'm a creative, that's what I say. I chalked it up to being creative. It's creative chaos. And I have four children that depend on me now, and they are under seven years old. So I now not only had to conquer my messiness to keep my own sanity, because it definitely helps, but I have to teach my three boys and one girl, three boys especially, um, because of this video I'm talking about, um, to be organized. Because if you if your outer world is not organized, your inner world is not organized. Okay. It's like the one it's, it's a prime example. If, if you want to be successful in life, there's a lot of studies that have been done on people that have, um, you know, what makes you think, right? For example, what makes you think that you can run a humongous company if you're extremely unorganized, right? Or what makes you think you can, um, take care of a, a big home or a home in general if you can't keep your like small area organized. Sadly, this is true. Like, 
Like the better I got at organizing smaller things, the better I got at organizing bigger things. Okay. So this is not just for men, it's for women too. But for men who are single, when you look like you've got it together, not only when you look like it from the outside, you will have it a little bit organized on the inside. It's, it's, it's a mental thing. And also when you have it together, when you are organized, it gives you more confidence. Okay. You have better usage of your time because you're not looking for things or anxious even because you're like, Oh, that's messy. I still haven't cleaned that up yet. Or I have to do this before I do that. And if you just practice you know, a routine of being organized, you know, when you get up in the morning, you know, one of the first things I started to do, and I thought it was the stupidest thing was I started to make my bed. And there are so many people out there that will say that that is a game changer. And it's true. It is a game changer. I love getting into a cute, cozy bed that looks nice at the end of the night when I feel like total garbage. <laughs> and I say this because like, I'm a busy mom. So, and it makes me in a great mood because I'm like, oh, my husband is going to love to like lay on this nice, clean, organized, cute, comfy bed that I've prepared for us for later. So it's a win-win. And that could be a, the same thing with your spouse. Like, let's say you're the person who works from home and you're responsible for keeping the bedroom organized or whatever, or chores done just because you work less hours or whatever it may be, how you've divvied it up. But Walking into someone's room or home and it looks organized, it's just so much mentally easier. People want to be around that place. People feel welcome. Okay, so I really wanted this video to actually be about confidence, but I think I kind of dove a little bit deeper than that. But one of the things that I think gives you confidence is being organized. When you're organized outside of your body, you're organized more mentally, and that gives you confidence. So this movie, this video was going to be about, um, how to attract, you know, or be attractive to, um, a significant other, or let's say you're looking for love, right? So bringing it back home to what I was originally talking about. I think that because women are vulnerable, they look for a man who is confident, a man who has his own life set, before they go after them. And that's not to say that, hey, if you are breezing by life and you're just chilling and you're loving life and that's fine and you don't really have a plan right now, that's okay. I mean, it's not, <laughs> but I get you because I've been there. But once you get that plan in place, because you don't want to just pick a plan just for the heck of picking a plan. Once you get that plan in place and you're striving towards your own goal, first of all, that's sexy because your goals are unique to you. And when a woman comes across and finds you interesting and finds, oh, wow, what are his goals? Like, what's what's he doing for life? Like, what does he want to do with his life? And it's not because like, and if it's because it's a woman that's looking for how much money do you make? Obviously, that's not the that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is intrigue, um, interest in your interests. Now, if you don't have a lot of goals and you float on through life, you know, this isn't like sadness for the lady, okay? This is sadness for you because you live only once. I am going to be 40 next year and I don't know what's happened this year, but I'm having the best year of my life because I do know what's happened. I, I've literally tried to work on myself. I've worked on um, taking care of my body. I've worked on taking care of my space. I've worked on what I think is important for my children to realize like one good example is one of the things that I think is super important is you can be a really smart person and this goes for men like that I'm talking about with regards to not having a plan you can be the smartest person in the room but make the dumbest choices because I know somebody who had and this is, is this a loved one of mine who was an incredibly gifted, incredibly smart, and he threw it all away. And he has since passed and he's in heaven now, but um, wonderful man, made horrible choices with drugs and alcohol. And I'm talking 
this man was so gifted. And sometimes it's a, it's a curse to be gifted and, and, and not know how to use it. Like our society is not prepared for certain types of gifted people. That's a whole other thing. But so as a, and he was a very lonely man and it's not fair because if he had just put some goals in place and he had just focused on making good choices and, you know, figured out how society could benefit him instead of like, the other way around and you know whatever wound up happening to him with being overwhelmed and having anxiety etc like there is it's there's a reason there are goals that you set you know you want to see what you're doing and a lot of times I just I started journaling which is like oh my gosh like hard um so yeah I'm not a girl that journals right now because like I have like no free time <laughs> um so which, except for right now, which I'm just trying to put the word out there, right? Maybe this is my journaling. Um, so I just wanted to say this to the men out there that are following this channel. Like if this has helped you at all, give it a thumbs up. I would love to do some more itemized videos where we talk about like, you know, how to set goals for yourself or how to have awesome hygiene where it makes women attracted to you. Because I know from experience, from my girlfriends and from myself and from my life for the last 20 years, you know, um, and I think it's, I think it's something to talk about. I don't know that there's enough videos for this out there, but I want to help men that are, want some guidance, you know, um, with confidence because listen, you are unique and there is no one else out there like you. Maybe some things are similar. Maybe there's some doppelganger like that looks like you but there is not someone whose soul is exactly like yours there is and there are women out there that are specifically looking for a guy like you and if you lack the confidence to get out there and go to the library or go to um a christian or like a, a church meetup right um or like a bible study or um I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, you can go to a bar too, but like there's other places to meet women, like especially women that have a lot of value. And I'm not saying girls with, with value don't go to bars because they go just to have fun. They don't go to actually meet someone. Like that's not where they're going to meet someone. They probably have the girls at bars. And this is my general perspective, obviously my humble opinion here, um, they're not looking because they probably are out with their girlfriends to have fun, to get free drinks, to flirt. They probably have a boyfriend already. Um, they're just out with their girlfriends. Like, like, you know, that's just, it is what it is. They're not looking to meet someone. Now, I have friends that have met somebody at a bar that they married. Totally not a lot of them. Like maybe one um, in my life that I know met somebody at a bar. Um, but usually you can meet some people through friends. Um, and if not, library, grocery store, um, you know, and that would be super cute if you met somebody at a grocery store. And here's how you do this. You see a girl, she's by herself, doesn't have a ring. You walk up to her and you talk about what she's holding and you can crack a joke. Okay. Say I'm not funny. Okay. Well, just say, that's the perfect line. I'm sorry. I was trying to make a joke because I just wanted to talk to you. But, you know, I just want to say you look nice today and hopefully I can run into you here again. Leave it at that and walk away. Go your way. She'll go hers. But she'll be like, wow, that was really nice. I feel flattered. That's so random. And maybe she has a boyfriend. And she's not wearing a ring or whatever. Or maybe not, you know. And you circle the grocery store, you do your thing, you come back to the checkout and you get in the line where she's at. So sounds kind of like too hard. It's not. And you can do it. And just remember that the reason you may lack confidence is there's, there's some sort of root thing going on where you're thinking you're not enough and you are enough. There is someone out there that wants a person just like you. And if you think that that's not true, if you just look at the sheer numbers of the population, you know, the there's probably like 10,000 people that want somebody like you. So just, 
I hope this video has helped you. Sorry it's kind of long. I just really wanted to share my thoughts because it's been on my mind and on my heart that, you know, confidence is key. And, you know, I think to build confidence, the initial thing you need to do is to have an organized space. Be established yourself. That doesn't mean you have to have a house. It doesn't mean you have to have a job like or a career lined up. I mean, yes, you should have a job if you have a place on your own. Obviously, you have to pay your bills. But confidence, secure confidence in yourself. Like, I can do this. First things first, make your bed in the morning. Second thing, start organizing one little spot. Like, say your, your, your table next to your bed is always jacked up, okay? Well, go over there and fix it. Put everything in a drawer. That's fine to start. Then get rid of everything you haven't touched in like a week. Who needs that? Always throw away your garbage. That's a good start. Then from there, just say, hey, I got this really nice organized space now. You know, if I were to have somebody over spur of the moment for that girl from the, uh, the grocery store, like, was like, yeah, hey, you want to go to a party tonight? And then she comes to meet me at my house. She can look inside my door and see, see that my house is organized and sees that, sees I've got it together. So you probably have it together mentally and you have a lot to offer, but your exterior absolutely reflects what's going on inside, at least to us women. And women are vulnerable, like I said, and we want to have somebody who is strong, confident, and who knows how to handle things, who now, who knows how to handle at least themselves. All right. So I hope you had a great time watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, share it with people that you think would, it would benefit. And, um, I hope to keep these flowing. Thanks guys. I love talking to you guys. Have a great day.